What's up guys, Oface here, and today we are having a video on Fallout 76 Dev Room. For those of you that do not know, the Dev Room is a room pretty much made for the developers. Uh, it's kind of just their own personal means. Everybody was always wondering in the alpha how the devs were always showing up with all these cool gear and stuff. People have now figured out the exact location of the dev room. Um, I'm not going to post the exact, exact location, but this video is going to give you a brief look into what the dev room looks like. Let's check it out. And here we are, guys. This is the dev room. For those of you that don't know what the dev room is, this is a developer room specifically for them to be able to come and, uh, you know, maybe try things, work on items, see items in game, you know, things we don't normally get to see behind the scenes as players. Now, if you are familiar with the Fallout scene, a dev room is nothing new to you. You know all about it. However, unique to Fallout 76, this is the only NPC you see in the game, which is very unique. It's odd. Um, Previous fallouts, as most of you probably know, revolved around NPCs. If uh, you attacked an NPC, killed an NPC, you could cause huge issues throughout your whole story. Uh, you could have factions of people that don't like you, won't sell to you, or want to kill you. Now as you can see here, they've got everything from scrap to games, you name it. Anything in the game, you can almost guarantee you will find in this dev room. Um, you'll even find things you couldn't find in the game at the moment, which many people speculate, and we'll get to that later. As you can see right there, we were able to withdraw the items and put them into our accounts. That has been Bethesda's biggest issue with this so far, as uh, people find the dev rooms all the time in the old fallouts, and it really wasn't a big deal because it is a single-player game and you're on there by yourself if you're playing by yourself who cares if you cheat it's just like grand theft auto you know you don't have a guns cheat on multiplayer you can buy them but that is the problem with they are running into people are utilizing the dev room getting in there withdrawing the items and then selling them for money in game therefore giving them an unfair advantage against everybody else now Bethesda has stepped up their game and they have begun banning accounts that are doing things and transactions such as these. Um, it's not always a uh, straight ban. As of right now, what they're doing is uh, they're just trying to make sure anybody that has been in there is not technically being banned to my knowledge yet. I believe it's only people that have actually taken things out of the room that are getting the ban. Um, and like people do, they found ways around it. People are making mule accounts, going in there, getting items, and then trading them off to their real account. And then the mule account gets banned. Well, uh, I believe right now Bethesda is still working on a way to track that, and I'm sure they already have a way where they'll be able to ban people that get the items traded to them. Now, how they're going to be able to decide, you know, that's a toss-up. Now, something unique here in the video, you see all these recipe boxes and stuff. You're able to actually find things in this game that have never been seen before. And as I said earlier, there's a lot of speculation that those will be coming out when they have say maybe a new update coming out or a new uh, you know just any kind of updates they've got coming out obviously it's gonna lead to new items in the game but the fact that you can see them now is uh, it's pretty cool you can check it out I mean you've got all the recipes there the plans everything which is really cool now the issue for me that I think Bethesda may be kind of not considering. Right now, Fallout has been in kind of a limbo stage, I'd like to call it, because it was a highly, highly anticipated game for a lot of people. 
there was a lot of negative comments from players that were huge fans of Fallout because they didn't like the thought of it becoming a you know massive multiplayer game tons of people running around everybody loved the story they loved the NPCs so there was a lot of backlash from the Fallout community involving that well as I've begun to notice it seems like people when it first came out really started liking it a little bit and they were pulling in new new blood you know so to speak um, you'd have people like me that I me personally I know I'm gonna get backlash from this really did not enjoy the first couple fallouts I just I it's just me I guess I'm weird but um, I, I enjoyed this one a little more because there were people you were able to work with people and go have fun and I Unless it's a game I'm really into, I don't want to do solo. So, um, I do believe, though, with the lack of people playing this game, Bethesda may be kind of jumping the gun as far as banning people right away. Um, if it had been me, I think I would have given them maybe like a week ban and taken off all the stuff they took, including the money. You know, because... Right now, with a slightly lower player base, and I'm sure anybody that's watching this video has seen this, um, they started off at a full price game, which is what you would expect, to drop down almost a quarter of the price within about a month, a month and a half. That is huge for a video game to drop so fast and so rapidly. Um, and because of that, there's been a lot of backlash as far as the game itself. They've lost a lot of player bases, and they're going to have to work their way at building it back up. So I think them banning these people may be inadvertently also causing them more issues in the future. We're just going to have to see how that goes. Um, again, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I showed you on the map where it was, but I am not going to show you how to get there. I'm sure you can look up forums on how to do it. Um, this is this is a decent game. I definitely recommend checking it out if you haven't. I know I haven't been fully open to it. Um, I'm sure as expansions start to come out, it will slowly improve and get better and better because Bethesda has just got a history of making some really good games and they've got some really good fan bases to stand behind. So uh, again, guys, if you enjoyed this video, Please feel free, like, share, subscribe, every little bit helps. And the more likes and shares and subscribes I get, it, it could help me possibly start putting off some more videos. And I, I'm trying to really work on recording with nobody else here talking. It's making it a little harder. I think I'm going to start doing some live streams here shortly, which should make it a little more interesting because I'll be able to chat with you while we're playing the game get some ideas as to what I should do, you know, and we'll have a good time. A um, couple things to look forward to. Here coming up shortly, we are going to be streaming Anthem. We are set in on the new beta as it comes out. It will be a lot of fun. I'll definitely get some streaming gameplay, try to get a few hours in streaming. Um, and then at the end, I'll probably make an overall video of Anthem. And uh, we'll just see where it goes from there. I'm looking forward to that game. I know there's a lot of other people looking forward to it. And um, I guess that's about it, guys. Please uh, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. And as always, if you're going to get them, get them in the face.